All right. Good afternoon, everyone. I am uh, Council Member Rafael Salamanca, Chair of the Subcommittee on Planning Dispositions and Concessions. Welcome to today's hearings. Today we're joined by uh, Council Member Andrew Cohen and uh, Council Member Mendez. Today we will be holding two public hearings on LUs 832 and the U UHAP tax exemption application and LU 833, the Mother Gaston Boulevard disposition and tax exemption application. The first hearing will be on LU 832, the UHAP tax exemption application for property located at 278 East 7th Street in Council Member Mendez's district in Manhattan. HPD is seeking a 40-year tax exemption pursuant to an Article 11 of the Private Housing Finance Law for a six-story rental building with 17 units, 15 of which are occupied. All of the units will be converted to home ownership units for low-income families targeted to families at 120% of AMI. The sponsor, the sponsor you have will also rehabilitate the units. I am now opening up the public hearings on LU-832. Um, Council Member Mendez, would you like to make an opening statement? Yes, uh, Mr. Chair, thank you very much. Um, I want to thank HPD for working with my office and with uh, the tenants who were squatters in this building um, to get them to home ownership. There's been a series of different problems at East 7th Street. Uh, we're finally getting ready to move forward and, and um, get them their Article 11 and they can move forward with home ownership. Uh, different problems in LU number 816 with East 13th and East 10th Street. Um, and those are buildings that had complications like fires and then um, were in arrears. And so I am very excited that these three buildings, which uh, were put into a home ownership program during my predecessor, Margarita Lopez's time in 2001, when I was her chief of staff, I'm, happy they're finally getting into home ownership and that all of these uh, residents get to stay in the Lower East Side slash East Village. Thank you very much and thank you HPD and thank you Mr. Chair. Thank you Council Member. Um, so Mr. Jordan Press. Um, good afternoon. Land use number 832 consists of an amended project for property located in an exemption area known as 278 East 7th Street in Council District 2. 278 East 7th Street was one of several buildings on the Lower East Side that the City of New York foreclosed upon in the late, late 1970s, and for a long time, it was not slated for redevelopment. It eventually became known as one of the Lower East Side squatter homesteader buildings as occupants began to take up residency. On June 26, 2002, the Council approved the disposition of 278 East 7th Street to U UHAB HDFC for the sole purpose of creating low-income home ownership after a series of ne negotiations between the Council, HPD, UHAB, and the Coordinating Committee of Squatter Homesteaders. Conveyance of the property occurred on August 19, 2002. The goal of the project was for the existing occupants to continue making repairs and improvements on their own with their own funds under the supervision of UHAB staff and resident leaders. Independent subcontractors licensed to perform various trades such as electrical, plumbing, and HVAC were hired when there was no expertise in the building. Funds under the Participation Loan Program were made available in 2008, and HPD obtained Council approval of Article 11 tax benefits retroactive to 2002. However, these HPD funds were de-encumbered as a result of delays in completing the project, including damage caused by Superstorm Sandy. Therefore, it became necessary for UHAB to fund the ongoing re rehabilitation. Currently, OMB is set to re-encumber the HPD PLP funds and will essentially reimburse the sponsor. As previously mentioned, land use number 832 is a multiple dwelling with 17 apartments. The building's mostly occupied and the unit mixture includes one studio, nine one-bedrooms, two two-bedrooms, five three-bedrooms. There is no commercial or community space. All the rehabilitation has been completed. The sponsor is now preparing for permanent loan closing and cooperative conversion. Therefore, HPD is before the planning subcommittee seeking a new Article 11 tax exemption for a period of 40 years coinciding with a regulatory agreement in order to maintain continued affordability of the home ownership units. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Press. Any questions? No? Any questions? Yes, Councilman Cohen. This will have no negative impact on McSorley's, right? 
I, I believe that the beer will continue to flow. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Are there any uh, members of the public who wish to testify? All right, seeing none, I will now close the public hearings on LUs 832. Today's second hearing is LU 833, the Mother Gaston Disposition and Tax Exemption Application for property located at 249 Mother Gaston Boulevard in Councilmember Espinaz District in Brooklyn. The property is comprised of two uh, tax lots, one of which was conveyed in 2006. However, the other, tax lot 8, was never conveyed since it was erroneously excluded from prior applications. HPD seeks to rectify this and to convey lot 8, pursuant to Article 16 of the General Municipal Law, to the current owner and to apply a tax exemption pursuant to Article 11 of, of the Private Housing Finance Law to the entire property, lot 7 and 8. And it's important for me to say that Council Member Espinal is in favor of this project. I am now opening up the public hearings on LU 833. Mr. Press. Thank you. Um, again, this project is um, rectifying an error. Uh, land use number 833 consists of one city-owned property located at 249 to 251 Mother, Mother Gaston Boulevard and is known as Park Monroe HDFC in Brooklyn Council District 37. This property is part of a four-building cluster originally approved for disposition by the City Council on December 11, 1996, under resolution number 2062. Subsequent to council mayoral approval, the city conveyed the property to William Chisholm Housing Development Fund Corporation under the Special Initiatives Program. In 2006, William Chisholm Housing Development Corporation underwent bankruptcy and part of the settlement was the transfer of the cluster to Park Monroe Housing Development Corporation, Fund Corporation, or Park Monroe. Park Monroe later discovered and HPD confirmed that 249 to 51 Mother Gaston Boulevard actually stood on two lots, block 3675, lot 7 and 8. While lot 7 was part of the original conveyance, lot 8 was never conveyed. Therefore, HPD is before the council to rectify this error in seeking approval of UDEP area designation, disposition approval, and Article 11 tax benefits for land use number 833. Uh, again, uh, as you indicated, Council Member Espinal has indicated his support. Thank you, Mr. Thank Press. You. Any questions from members of the committee? No? Are there any uh, members of the public who wish to testify? All right, seeing, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Council Member Mendez. I'm, I'm sorry, on LU number 816, which is 554 yeah, East. We're not there yet, Council We're not there we're yet? Get, oh, okay. We're get there now. I'll wait. Yeah. All right. All right, seeing that no one wants to testify uh, from the public, I will now close public hearings LU 833. Uh, we have two more items on today's calendar. LU-816, the Lower East Side Inclusionary Housing Application, was a subject of a prior hearing. The properties are located at 377 East 10th Street and 544 East 13th Street in Councilmember Mendez's District in Manhattan and are comprised of 26 home ownership units. We will be voting to approve the application to replace the existing J-51 tax exemption with an Article 11 tax exemption for 40 years, retroactive to December 17, 2015, the date of construction closing and the date of the regulatory agreement with HPD. The units are targeted to households of 30% of AMI to 80% of the AMI and will be affordable and will be affordable. Councilmember Mendez is in support of this application. Just want to recognize that we've been joined by uh, Councilmember Mark Traeger. Councilmember Mendez. Thank you. Um, I just wanted to go on the record. Uh, this pertains to two um, squat buildings, 544 East 13th Street and 377 East 10th Street. Uh, there were a couple of issues that we've been working on. I think that's been resolved. But there is one issue, and I'm not sure if HPD is aware of, that I'm working with. The developer Juan Barahona is in trying to relocate Annie Wilson from 544 East 13th Street to another apartment there that is suitable to her, or if we can put her at East 10th Street um, because the developer chose to move her arch nemesis next door to her, um, and this has created a lot of issues. Uh, for her and her mental health, and no one consulted with me because I would have advised against that, and we could have had this resolved a long time ago. So I'm hoping that we can reach a resolution between uh, Annie Wilson, the, the squatter, hopefully to be homeowner, and the developer, Juan Barona. 
Thank you. Thank you, uh, Councilman Mendez. Any? We're happy to look into it and work with you on it and work with the developer on it. All right. Uh, any other comments from members of the committee on this project? No? All right. LU-797, the Archer Green tax exemption application has been withdrawn. We will vote on a motion to file it to remove it from our calendar. We will also be voting to approve LUs 832 and LUs 833, the two applications we just heard today. Are there any remarks uh, from members of the subcommittee? All right, seeing none, I will now call for a vote to approve LUs 816, 832, and 833, and to file LU 797. Council, please call the roll. Chair Salamanca. Aye. Council Member Cohen. Aye. Council Member Traeger. Aye. By a vote of three in the affirmative, zero negatives, and zero abstentions, the land use items are approved and referred to the full land use committee. Thank you. I would like to thank the council staff, land use staff, for preparing today's hearing. Um, and I also want to personally thank my colleagues. Uh, uh, I've been chairing this meeting for this uh, committee for about a little less than a year, and it's been awesome working with you guys. And this is going to be the last subcommittee of the year. Uh, so with that, uh, thank you, and this hearing is now adjourned.